From the menu Connection, we select MIDI and select the combination of input and output from all the available MIDI interfaces, and then click on Add. Make sure MIDI is enabled before closing this window. In this example, we are using an USB MIDI interface connected to the front MIDI port of M1K2. Thanks to its MIDI over MADI capabilities, we make sure the MIDI routing inside the matrix is the right one to reach two Andiamo devices, one AD and one DA connected to port 9 and 10. With MIDI discovery enabled, under the three My Devices, we can find the Andiamo AD and DA connected via MIDI. With a single click on their icon, we bring them onto our global view. We enable the Donut plugin of the M1K2, checking the relevant option from Configuration Device. From the same page, we make sure Chason is enabled to allow the Globcon control of the M1K2. As we have done for the MIDI routing, we have to set up the right sequence of serial connections inside of the M1K2 to let the internal controller to reach all the MADI devices to be controlled via Donet. In this example, we have one Andiamo MC on port 3 and one Andiamo ASSRC on port 12. With Donet discovery enabled, they are found and available from my devices. We click on them, as well as on the rest of the USB connected devices, to bring them all on the global view. From the device window, there is now a dedicated column to show the control method of each connection. In the global view, we can click and hold on the Ethernet icon of every device to show the status of the connection, the IP address of the Globcon controller and the connection method in use. MADI SRC is now supported by Globcon. We can click and hold on the innovative Globcon eye meter to appreciate higher details of outputs. That possibility is offered also for the inputs, just click and hold on them. As usual, a double click will open the Home tab. A dedicated video tutorial about the MADI SRC implementation in Globcon will be available soon. With PolySync enabled in the M1K2, we can have MADI port with different FS settings. Globcon now automatically resize the port channel count in the matrix, offering 16 channels at 4FS, 32 channels at 2FS and 64 channels at 1FS. The automatic resizing of the matrix capabilities is now offered in all the devices which support multiple FS settings. In this example, we have disconnected the USB cable of the MADI SRC from our Mac. The relevant Ethernet icon becomes red to warn the user about the error state of that connection. The icon of the MADI SRC in My Devices, representing the Globcon controller, is still there and it shows an error. To check the status of the Globcon user network, click and hold on the network state icon in the upper bar. From that pop-up, we can read the name of the Ethernet adapter currently selected to establish the Glockon user network, its IP address, the number of the current users, and their IP addresses. If we connect the USB cable of the MADI SRC to a different computer running Glockon, Mac or PC, once the Glockon network will be established, the new computer will automatically be determined as a new controller of that device and will share the control with other users connected to the Globcon network. Our MADI SRC is automatically back thanks to the connection shared via Ethernet by the Globcon user having an IP address different from our. We can now double check the status of the Globcon user network with a click and hold on the relevant icon, where now there are two users. The MADI SRC is now having a different controller, so its icon is available from the network tree and has been automatically removed from the three My Devices. We can keep controlling the MADI SRC 
as if it was directly connected to our Mac. Connection preferences are now stored automatically and reloaded at startup. If we want to change the Ethernet adapter used for the Globcon user network, we can click on the relevant button under the menu connection and network. A complete Globcon restart is required. At the next startup, we will be requested to select a new Ethernet adapter from all the ones currently available. That choice is required in case the default and stored adapter is no longer available during the startup of Globcon. Powerful, easy, Globcon.